Welcome to SeaTown, Cleveland, Ohio. A splendid day for football here at Cleveland Browns Stadium. I'm Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth. Great to have you here for an exhibition matchup between the Colts and the Browns. The Colts playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for... Flag on the play, first of the game. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Johnson was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 9. It's first and 10. Makes the throw over the middle. He's dropped down right around the 26-yard line by Elam. They are not good. First down and 10. Steps and throws to the left side. He's wrestled down around the 38-yard line by number 23. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Play action. Wants to go long. Wow, he just let that one get away from him. I mean, that was a relatively easy throw for him to make. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. coverage downfield he's brought down around the 49 yard line by Jackson
They line up at the 49. Throws deep towards the left. Going deep. He's got it. Touchdown. There aren't too many better options than that guy when you're talking about throwing one in the end zone. Some of the best hands in all of football. Vinatieri hits the PAT. It's now a seven-point game. Indianapolis is up seven. McAfee looks ready to kick it away. Stucky is back to receive the kick. He'll take it from the two. He's stopped at the 24-yard line. White was there to bring him down. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. The offense will take over at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 to go. And let's spotlight the offensive key players. Running back Peyton Hillis out of Arkansas has become a sensation grinding out those tough yards between the tackles. And it doesn't always have to be pretty to be effective, and Peyton Hillis is one of the hardest-working running backs in the league. You know, not only is he so tough to bring down, but he has acceleration into the hole, and that is really underrated. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He's tackled around the 46-yard line by number 33. They line up at the 46. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by Bethea. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Flips it out short. He's dropped down at about the 35-yard line by number 51. And we'll have a first down and 10. Let's meet the defensive starters on the defensive line. You have the incomparable Dwight Freeney out of Syracuse, who is a beast up front, and he can dominate a game. Yeah, if you give me one player to build a defense around, I would take Dwight Freeney, guys. To me, he just combines 
all of those key things that make up a star football player. But as great as his physical attributes are, I think it's his intelligence and his instincts that really make the difference. It's third down now and just about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Has a man to his right. And it just goes to show that arm strength isn't everything. Accuracy and touch is something that is so important for a quarterback. They call on the field goal unit. Someone jumped early down there. And that just kills you as a coach. There's just no excuse for making that kind of a penalty on fourth down. The kick is good. So the score now, the Browns, three, the Colts, seven. Dawson is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 13 is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And takes off from his own goal line. He makes it back to the 25. Wright was there for the stop. And onto the field steps Peyton Manning. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 25. Flips out short. Makes a spectacular one-handed grab. And when you talk about great players, you have to mention Reggie Wayne out of Miami. Still one of the most electric receivers in the NFL. And it seems like Reggie Wayne has been making plays in this league forever. He's been so consistent for so long. It really is amazing. Here he is over a decade into his career and still one of the best. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Throws it over the middle of the field. He's wrestled down around the 44-yard line by Fujita. And this might be a late hit on the defender. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. Gus, everybody knows that football is a game of emotion. But unchecked emotion is a bad thing. You have to be able to control yourself on the football field. That's a big mistake. There's a play fake. So with that, let's take a look at some of the members of this defensive unit, a group that is looking to make a name for themselves in this matchup. It's a gain of four. We've got a third and six. Ball on the 36. Going down the middle with it. He's brought down around the 24-yard line by Gokong. First down and 10.
He's tackled right around the 18-yard line by Ward. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Throws to his right. Deflected and broken up. Colley was the intended receiver. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. Goes through his progression. Passes out to his right. And the kicker is on to try this one from 35 yards out. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Johnson is guilty of moving early. This will be about a 40-yard field goal. And the kick is good. So after that kick, the score is now. The Colts, 10. The Browns, 3. McAfee is ready to kick this one off. Stuckey stands back to field the kick. And it's fielded at the four. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Wheeler was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Hillis takes the give. And he's tackled at about the 27 by Freeney. From their own 27-yard line. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's dropped down around the 29-yard line by number 33. Third down, seven yards to go. Looking, fires it to the left. He's wrestled down around the 41-yard line by Hayden. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Hillis gets the call. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Brackett. Yeah. 
Second down and five to go. Ball on their own 46. He breaks away, looking for an open man. And sometimes as a quarterback, you realize it's not there. Just slide, get down, keep yourself alive for another play. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. They'll go with the run once again. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line by Bethea. They line up at the 49. We've played a quarter, and our score, 10, 3. We welcome you back to Cleveland. Here's a draw. Cuts back and he's dropped. Nice run. A pickup of eight. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line by Freeney. They line the ball up at the 33. Hillis gets the carry. He's dropped down around the 27-yard line by Johnson. And just about four yards away here on second down. He's looking towards the left side. Third down coming up after that incompletion. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Has a man short to his left. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Brackett. They line up at the 21. Fires a laser down the middle. And he drops the short pick. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. Oh, 
Second down and seven yards to go. He's going to his right. Throws. They get him down, but it's going to be a first and goal for the Browns. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies. You know, just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. First and goal, needing a touchdown to tie. Nice move, and he scores. You know, more and more, we're seeing halfbacks on the goal line with their ability to make little moves in small spaces, getting the ball and sticking in for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. Dawson is good on the point after. Dawson will be kicking off. Number 13 is back to receive the kick. And he gathers it at the six-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Stuckey was there for the stop. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 25. Brown on the give. He's brought down around the 38-yard line by Cofield. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Looks for the safe short throw. He's tackled around the 49-yard line by Ward. First down and 10. Brown will run it again. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by Ward. Second down and very short yardage here. Brown on the inside handoff. He's dropped down right around the 36-yard line by Jackson. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Has a man out to his right. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 16. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today.
First down, 10 to go. Manning with the give. They tackle him for a loss. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Second down now, 12 to go. Dumps it short. They take him down, but not before he gives the Colts a first down and goal. It's first down and goal. Fires a strike to the right. Number 13 was his intended target. Only five yards away from the goal line. Flips it out short to his left. Just five yards away from a touchdown now. Look out, heavy pressure on him. He gets the sack and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> Delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will. And he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. Number 78 is guilty of moving early. They call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's good. So that will make the score the Colts 13, the Browns 10. Indianapolis gets ready to kick it away. Stuckey is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And he'll return it from way back at the three. Number 13 was there to bring him down. The Browns ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. They'll start this drive at the 41-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Hillis takes a handoff. Hold on, there is a flag down. And I have a feeling this one is coming back. Vickers gets called for the hold. And first down once again, but they'll be backed up following the penalty.
Hillis, the ball carrier. He's wrestled down around the 35-yard line by Warren. From their own 35-yard line. Checks down to the short pass. Third down, they need six for first down. Short throw to the left. The Colts came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. So, it's fourth down. The Browns line up to punt. Returns the punt from the 16. He makes it back to the 25. Johnson was there for the stop. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Searching for an open man. Looks to the right. He's going for it off. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. They'll face second down and 10. Has a seam down the middle. He's brought down around the 41-yard line by Elam. So it's first down following the big gain through the air. He's searching for a receiver. Wants the end zone! Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. So they'll face a second and ten. Brown takes the give. Brought down behind the line. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. It's now third and 12. and throws to the left side. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Woo. 
It's fourth down. The Colts lining up to punt. And down by three points, this is excellent field position to at least tie the game and possibly take the lead. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. He's going deep with it. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Throws it to the middle. And now we're down to the part of the game that I think decides most games. You make a good play on second down, now you're bringing up a third down situation. Either you keep the drive alive here or the defense turns it over to the offense. And third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Has a man to his right. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. Fourth down. The Browns ready to punt this one away. It bounces out of bounds at the 44-yard line. They'll start at the 44-yard line. First down and 10. Dumps it out right. He picks it off. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Wow, he closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24. He's dropped for a loss. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. Second down now with a long 15 to go. And the ball on the 29-yard line.
He takes off. The Browns will take their second time out of the half. A pickup of five. It's third down, 10 yards for first. Ball on the 24-yard line. Hey. Throws it over the middle of the field. He's tackled around the 11-yard line by Brackett. Short throw to the right. It's broken up by the defender. Cribs was the intended receiver on the play. So they are now on the 11. Pass is short right side. And he's tackled at about the five yard line by Lacey. Pass play gives them a gain of six. Has a man to his right. He's dropped down just outside the goal line by number 33. He's in! Touchdown! And it just adds so much to an offense if you have a quarterback that can make plays with his feet. Nice run that time. Cleveland is up by four. Cleveland looks ready to kick it away. Number 13 stands back to field the kick. He'll attempt to scrib it. Number 30 takes off from the 30. He's wrestled down right around the 42-yard line by right. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Still looking for an open man. He's brought down right around the 50-yard line by right. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Going up towards the end zone. The pass falls incomplete. And as we head to halftime, the score is 17-13. Browns.
We welcome you back to Cleveland. And we'll see how this one turns out as we're set to get the second half underway. He makes it out to the 20. Tammy was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 20. And we'll have a first down in 10. He's got room, and he's down after the slide. Boy, in that kind of situation, you just think that if they're going to pick up the first down on you, they're going to have to do it throwing the football. But that time, the quarterback got out in the open field and got it done. It's first and ten. Jackson with the pitch. He's tackled around the 42-yard line by Bethea. It's second and five here. Jackson flips it out, and he'll lose yardage on the play. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that, not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. It's third down, nine yards to go. He's looking for the home run and has a man open. And he's gone. Watch out. Touchdown. I knew all he had to do was catch that one, and he was going to be gone. When you possess that kind of speed, it is a very difficult day for the defense. Better give him a little more cushion than that. Dawson is good on the point after. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The Browns, 24. The Colts, 13. Cleveland is just about ready to kick this one away. White is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Hold on. There is a flag down. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Number 27 was there for the stop. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. They'll set up shop at the 14. First down and 10.
Manning with the give. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line by Gokal. It's a second and eight situation now. Passes it over the middle of the field. He's dropped down around the 20-yard line by Jackson. That's a four-yard pickup through the air. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Dumps it out right. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch and it worked again. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Has a seam down the middle. It's tipped and falls incomplete. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. Passes it short. He's wrestled down at about the 31 by Jackson. Wayne caught that one for a gain of seven. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. He's going to his right. Throws. The defender tips it away. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. So, it's fourth down. The Colts lining up to punt. Cribs will take it at the 21. I'm thinking he should have fair caught that one. He was hit almost immediately after bringing that one in. Maybe he was thinking that the punter had outkicked his coverage. Eh, wrong. They'll take over at the 23. First down, 10 to go. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Well, that's more than a little humiliating for an offensive lineman. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to hide after one of those. And yeah, they know national television is going to be talking about them as well. Flips it out short. And when you throw a football that hard, it just leaves no margin for error because there's no room for the wide receiver to make an adjustment. Now it's second and 15. Jackson with the give. He's brought down around the 37-yard line by Bethea. And we'll have a first down in 10. Ball on their own 37. Uh -huh. 
Inside give. He's tackled right around midfield by Bethea. It's first and ten. Ball at midfield. He'll get it again. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line by number 51. It's now second and nine. out to the left that wide receiver is fast but he's not that fast my goodness get him the football they need nine on this third down if they want to convert Flips it out short to his left. And it just goes to show that arm strength isn't everything. Accuracy and touch is something that is so important for a quarterback. Fourth down. The Browns are lining up to punt it away. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. And this is a great opportunity to get back into this ball game. This offense needs to put a nice drive together right now. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. to the left he's dropped down around the 38 yard line by number 23 and so far in this one as you can see this player has been the impact performer of the game so far now we have a first down and 10 to go ball on their own 38 Surveys the field. He throws short. Wayne was the intended receiver. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 38. Short throw to the right. And what makes it worse is he had a guy wide open on the play. In this league, you don't see that very often. Here they have a third down and 10 to go. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Fourth down. 
The Colts ready to punt this one away. He'll take off from his 18. And the tackle was made by Wheeler. And we have a flag on the play. Looks like this one might be coming back. Brown will be flagged on the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball is on their own 11. Someone jumped early down there. Even the slightest twitch by an offensive lineman will draw a flag. You know, defensive guys really have a bit of an advantage. As long as they don't cross the line of scrimmage, they can jump and flinch and try and get that offensive line to react. Jackson hands it off straight ahead. He's wrestled down at about the 15-yard line by Jenkins. Second and six yards to go. They give it off here. He doesn't get back to the line. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. from their own 14-yard line. Decides to run. He finds a lane. He's brought down around the 36-yard line by number 55. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on their own 36. Hillis takes a handoff. He's dropped for a loss. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 34. Here's the give. A burst of speed and he's in the open. He's tackled at about the 43 yard line by Wheeler. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. Again with the run. And it looks short from up here. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. It's fourth down. The Browns lining up to punt. Starting back at his own 15. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field.
They might have missed time to snap on that. Well, the defense was out there battling on that one, but that was exactly the kind of break this offense needed. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Steps and throws to the left side. Wayne gains four yards with that reception. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 18. Fires a strike to the right. It's almost picked off. Third down now. They'll need 11 to move the chains. They have the ball on their own 18. Passes short right side. The Browns did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. It's fourth down. The Colts ready to punt this one away. Cribs starts running at the 32. Rucker was there to bring him down. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 24-13. Brown. We welcome you back to Cleveland. The Browns have the ball and a two-possession advantage as we get set for the final quarter. He's looking towards the left side. And he's tackled at about the 45-yard line by Brackett. From their own 45-yard line. They'll give it off here. He's dropped down around the 48-yard line by Jenkins. Now they're facing second and seven. Ball on their own 48. Checks down to the short pass. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. It's first and ten. He's going to run for it, and he's got her own. Nice gain of about seven.
And two yards away here on second down. Hillis on the handoff. He's wrestled down right around the 24-yard line by Bethea. First down and 10. Jackson gives it left. He's brought down around the 18-yard line by number 55. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. They hand it off. They get him down, but it's going to be a first and goal for the Browns. Well, let's face it. Defensive players get paid for sacks. They were really coming after the quarterback that time, and the delay caught him napping. Cleveland looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. And looks left, throws. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Now three yards for the score. Off up the middle. Two, maybe two and a half yards from the goal line now. Here's a pass over the middle. The pass falls incomplete. They call on the field goal unit. And the kick is good. So the score now, the Browns, 27. The Colts, 13. Dawson is ready to kick this one off. White is back to receive the kick. And he'll return it from way back at the three. Gets it to the 21. Number 27 was there for the stop. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. They'll start at the 21. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. He's tackled around the 39-yard line by Ward.
So it's now first and 10 after the big pass play. Manning will hand it off. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line by Elam. He goes down. Sack. Not many plays in the playbook designed to get this kind of yardage. Third down and long. Goes through his progression. It looks like there's a penalty. Is he going to score? He's dropped down around the seven-yard line by Jackson. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of holding. Johnson is flagged for a hold on the play. That penalty pushes him back even further. Third and very long here on this play. Passes out to his right. Good release that time by the receiver at the line of scrimmage, but the pass simply was just not there. So, it's fourth down. The Colts lining up to punt. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. And now they'll come onto the field already up two scores. Yeah, with this kind of lead, I expect to see a lot of ball control style of offense from these guys. But I'll say this. This is also the time in the game when the defense has to really start to attack. Sometimes a first down pass can work. Hillis gets the call. He's wrestled down around the 24-yard line by Warren. They're looking at second down and six. Ball on their own 24. Jackson gives it up the middle. Flag on the play. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Number 66 gets called for the hold. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Rolling out to his right. I think he may have gotten there a little early. Here's the call. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. Jackson hands it off straight ahead. He's brought down around the 47-yard line by Smith. And just about four yards away here on second down. On the counter. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line by number 55. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Flips out short. 
And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by number 51. First down, 10 to go. Jackson gives it up the middle. Those big guys up front, they just keep pushing the defense back. At some point, now you're going to have to do something to try and stop those running lanes, but then look out. The passing is going to be wide open. So they line up at the 35. Jackson hands it off. He's dropped down right around the 32-yard line by Bethea. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. And so we've reached the two-minute warning. Another run. He's wrestled down around the 32-yard line by Mathis. And the kicker on to try this one looks to be a 49-yard try. And he makes it. And with that, the score is the Browns, 30, the Colts, 13. Cleveland will be kicking off. White stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Wright was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 22. And we'll have a first down and 10. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Johnson is guilty of moving early. The penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. Looking to his left. He's going deep. It's broken up by the defender. That incompletion will bring up second down. Now it's second and 15. Ah! 
Loads up, looking to his right. And he drops the short pick. Third down coming up after that incompletion. That'll bring up third down and 15. And the ball on their own 17. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's brought down around the 21-yard line by Brown. Well, if that was all they were going to do on third down, they might as well have just kicked it on third down because you're still way far away from picking up a first down, and that just was sort of a give up. Fourth down. The Colts line up to punt. Stucky fields it at the 29. He makes it out to the 45-yard line. Number 54 was there for the stop. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. And he'll just kneel it here. Brings up second down and about 12 yards to go. Jackson hands it off. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line by Bethea. <laughs> Offense looking at third down, seven yards to go. That concludes our game, but stay right there to catch the post-game wrap-up. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game.